Hello Aries, thank you for joining me. Thank you for your support. I'm doing a general energy read for next week, November 27 through the end of the week. And I'm going to get some clarity for you, get some advice, and see what you'll be dealing with in the next few days. Um, like, share, subscribe, hit the notifications button, and you won't miss out on any further readings. And let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, to a 12 card spread, and we'll go ahead and clarify as well. Alright, personality, page of cups. You're inquisitive, you're a thinker, naturally. Thank you. Memory, Queen of Wands. Mental inclination, five of swords, and your mood is in the higher offense. All right. Heart matters. <laughs> the devil. Feeling a little frisky there, Aries. In a, fris in a frisky mood in the heart. What about health? Show me health for Aries. Thank you. Society for Aries. Health is in Queen of Swords. Society, Queen of King of Wands. Strong energy, Aries. Very strong. Assertive, confident. Alright. And the end, Page of Swords. This is something that's ending for you. Spiritual tendencies, please. For Aries, spiritual tendencies. The Emperor. You are the Emperor deep down in your spirit. It is your card. Show me work. What's your work? Your finances? Your work? Career? For Aries. Just one, please clarify. Empress, thank you. Work. Empress, hope. Hanged man. And what's difficult for you? Difficulties for you, Aries, please. Thank you. Knight of Cups, Ten of Wands. All right. So. Your personality is in the Page of Cups, um, meaning your general personality, you're inquisitive, you're intuitive, you're constantly thinking, planning, setting goals. Um, it's your it's your essence, uh, right? It's just your general essence. That's who you are as a person. You're constantly thinking of um, love, of your finances, your stability, all around very inquisitive. Memory, you're reflecting back, Queen of Wands, um, this is like, you're reflecting on when this is giving me, um, just, uh, g going through the motions, right? Whether you're happy with it or not, just going through the motions, whether you're mentally in it or not, physically, you're, you're, you're doing the action, taking action and going through the motions. Um, you're reflecting on that. That's in your memory. With your mental inclination, um, mentally, you're tired, uh, spiritually exhausted. Um, I feel like your body's talking and you're not hearing it, right? The little guy down here, um, not quite yourself, um, overwhelmed, and you're aware of this mentally. Um, we'll get some advice for you on that. What is your general mood here with the Hierophant? Um, you're not going to be in this five of swords energy too long because your general mood is ascension. It is raising your vibration. It is raising your frequency. Your, um, your general chakra is growing constantly. You're, you're bettering yourself. That's your general personality, right? Page of cups here. So your mood is you're ready to get out of this five of swords energy. Now I have the devil in your heart matters. So I feel as though you're trying to um, 
force a change, force a new direction, force a curve, you know, a bend in the road. Um, I don't feel as though you're having your strings pulled, but as though you're pulling the strings here. Um, I feel as though this is your energy towards um, your love, your family, your close friends. This is regarding heart matters. So regarding someone that you love, you're trying to um, initiate a change and show someone the way, show someone a new option. Having control of that is, is what I'm getting. For your health, we have the Queen of Swords. Um, strong in the health, very discerned. Um, not letting things get one way or the other, very much riding the wind, the middle there, very balanced um, and on guard. You're, 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 you've got your eye on your health. And we do have the King of Swords for society. I'm sorry, King of Wands for society. Strength, Leo energy, um, fire energy. It is also very dependent, uh, it's very independent energy. Um, I feel as though with society, you are the leader of your soul tribe or you are putting together your soul tribe, your community, your friends, the people in your environment, and you are trying to show them the way, show them the light, guide them. We have the page of swords for the end, something that's nearing an end. Pages are young, youthful energy, immature energy. They're a learning energy, um, be inquisitive. I feel as though you were... Inquisitive about a particular thing, subject, person, situation, um, interested in learning about a certain thing or, or um, taking an interest in a certain person, and that's coming to an end for you. Um, the winds are blowing you in a different direction. And I have your card here, the Emperor, Spiritual Tendencies. You tend to boss up spiritually. Um, page of Cups, right? So you tend to boss up. You are the king on his throne. You are king, emperor, right? Um, you have the strength. You have the power to be the leader for your community, the devil for your loved ones. This <laughs> this is right up your alley. So I just, I feel like this is a very good reading um, generally for the next week coming. You will be bossing up in community and in love life. Um, I feel you taking control and pulling strings. We have the Empress here, Pisces card for your work. Um, something is nurturing and growing for you with work. This could be financial stability. You may be getting a raise or this could be um, your position. Maybe your work is looking at you in a different manner, in a more... Um, worthy manner um is like understanding your worth uh, with you know your company your job your career um or it could be abundance um but i do feel as though you're um studying your step and growing in importance with your work here um we have the hangman for hope it's perception change of perception you hope to change your views about a certain thing person place community um, there is hope as far as your will. You see things a certain way. It's been a certain way. And I feel as though you're hoping to start to see things in a new light. Um, I, I feel as with the devil here, with the emperor, the page of cups, we have the queen of swords, the king of wands, the queen of wands. Um, your coming to a whole new understanding your intuition is on point right now you're seeing things clearly and you're changing your perception where you know it needs to change um it's not everywhere because you're right on point around the board um some things with and and with dealing with hope it's emotional right it's emotional it's fate uh destiny and I feel like that's where you're changing your mind. That's where you're changing your perception and the way you view things. It's a beautiful thing here. What I have for difficulties is the Knight of Cups and the Ten of Wands. So I feel as though you there's an offer you want to make or receive. Um, something you want to suggest or something you want to bring in or bring to the table. 
and it's a little difficulty. It's weighing heavy on your mind, your heart, and your actions. You're not able to actually do that, and I feel as though it's being difficult, and you keep choosing to not do that. Um, I am going to clarify because I'm quite, quite interested on some of these cards here. Bottom of the deck, three swords. Feel as though you're coming from a, a heartbroken feeling, um, not necessarily with love, but with um, like an overall tower moment. Um, as though you've had a tower, you've bossed up, you've gotten through it, you've made changes, you've understood those changes, intuitive insight and you've let go of some things you've brought some things onto the table and overall this is you just new frequency new frequency boss 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 up and you're ascending um beautiful energy let me go ahead and clarify for you because this feels good you are quite a role model for people going through things i want to say uh this is a <laughs> badass reading right um leave a comment uh like share subscribe let me know um what this week is looking like for you i'm curious you're you're just um like <laughs> it's like you ever watch someone play a video game and they're just flying through these levels, right? One, two, three, four, boom. That's what I'm getting for you. That's what this feels like. You're just like, uh, just kicking ass at life right now. Let's clarify. Clarify Page of Wands, please. Um, Queen, I'm sorry. Pink. Queen of Wands for your memory. Aries, show me Queen of Wands, please. What's your memory at? What are you reflecting on, reminiscing on these days? Thank you. Queen of Cups. Five of Pentacles. Compassion, comfort, calm, nurturing, healing, emotionally stable, intuitive, caring. Be open to receive the healing, love, and nurturing that you need. And with the Five of Pentacles is recovery from loss, like I said, spiritual poverty charity improvement karmic lesson forgiveness positive change life is hard right now look around you help is at hand yeah so you're reflecting on the time before and during the tower um your mental inclination show me this five of swords please the high priestess Intuition, sacred knowledge, subconscious, spirituality, divine feminine, high morals, trust yourself, wisdom, secrets, mystery, hidden. Trust your own counsel first. Listen to yourself. This little guy back here screaming that you can't hear, you're rubbing your head like you've got a migraine. Listen to your body, listen to your spirit, listen to your soul. Trust yourself. High priestess energy, baby. Um, mood. Hierophant clarified by the Three of Cups. A celebration, friendship, collaboration, creativity, friendship, community, happiness. Celebrate your successes with those you care about. Um, your mood is ascending. Your mood is collaborating and coming together with friends, family, and happiness. Community here. Show me the devil. Your mood is... I'm sorry, your heart matters are in the devil. <laughs> the full... Uh, yeah, you want your, you, uh, the, I feel like this is love here. You want to be the devil and you want your partner to be the fool. Just follow your lead. These new beginnings, possibilities, innocence, spontaneousness, optimism, trust in life, blind faith, adventure, opportunity, spread your wings and fly. Exactly. That's what I have for you, Aries. Okay. And, um, I did want to clarify, show me King of Wands for society, please. <laughs> King of Wands. First card out, Queen of Wands. Courage, confident, independence, focus, a zest for life, determination, joy. Your natural confidence is talent you can always call on. And the Knight of Swords. Ambitious, fast thinking, action oriented, brave, driven to succeed, defending beliefs, truth seeking, 
You are strong and full of energy, ready to take on the world. Exactly. King of Wands, Queen of Wands, Knight of Swords. Bossed up. Love it. Yeah. What's the end with the Page of Swords? What's ending? What is ending? Uh, Seven of Cups. Two of Swords. Four of Pentacles. <sighs> Step back from everything to gain perspective. Listen to your inner voice when making choices. Holding on too tight can keep you right where you are and stop you from moving forward. Like I said, I feel like something had your interest. Something was piquing your... Um, it, it was intriguing you. Just piquing your interest. Um, you're moving on from it. Um, it's an, It could be an opportunity. Wishful thinking, right? Choices, illusions. Searching for purpose. Daydreaming. Um, difficult decisions. Weighing options. Avoidance, a deadlock, stalemate thinking, before decisions, stagnation, and choices. Um, you're holding on tight to this. It's saving money, wealth, security, conservation, scarcity, self-improvement, control, frugality, solid foundations. Um, I feel like this had to do with particularly a future plan, a future goal. Um, this could be with regards to money, a certain way that you were saving money or, you know, investing investing that's what i'm getting investing there's an end to something with regards to your future investments and you're changing your direction changing direction i know your spiritual tendencies with the emperor so show me work the empress work seven pentacles page of cups all right, Seven Pentacles, Page of Cups. Come here, lady. Come here. All right, Empress. Long-term view, hard work, perseverance, diligence, investment, sustainable results. Looking back on what you have achieved gives you the learning to set your goals. Creative opportunities, news, messages, information, curiosity, possibility, health, a happy surprise, dreamer, sensitive, new. Don't let your emotions get in the way of anything you want to do. Bossing up, Empress. Maybe you're manifesting changes at work, like I said, a new position, a new understanding, um, stability in your position, um, promotion perhaps. It's feeling good. It's looking good. Have blind faith. Um, believe in yourself. I, positive is coming in. I don't know what that's going to be. Um, maybe a raise, right? Let me know. Leave a comment. Um, you hope for the hangman. What are you hoping for to change your perspective about what? Oh, come on. That's a lot. <laughs> Let's be more specific, please. What is Aries hoping to change their perspective about strength? Strength, um, inner strength, self-doubt, weakness, insecurity, low energy, raw emotion, struggle, pride. You don't know your own strength until it is tested. One more. Show me strength. Hangman, strength, please. Thank you. Justice. Unified love, partnership, mutual attraction, proposal, marriage, connection. Use your intuition to set your moral compass. All right. Your, perspe your perspective about the strength of your relationship is what I'm getting here. It's your perspective about the strength of your connection, your, your partnership. It's stronger than you've been perceiving it to be. And you're starting to look at things differently. Like this is, you feel better about it than you did before. I feel like there was worry before, but you, you've all these kings and queens and emperors. Oh, the empress, the hangman, justice. You've got all this a high priestess, major arcana, and you don't look at it anymore the same. You feel like there's persuasion, passion, subtle power, Influence, inner strength, focus, and compassion. You, your courage. You're courageous now about your your unified love, your partnership, right? 
you don't know your own strength until it's tested. And I feel like maybe there was a test to your relationship and you found a new understanding. Um, show me this Knight of Cups. What's difficult about the Knight of Cups? What is the Knight of Cups? What's the offer? Knight of Cups, please. Actually, let's go Oracle. I'm curious here. Show me Knight of Cups. What's this Knight of Cups regarding? This is an offer, an opportunity, a suggestion, something you're bringing to the table. And it's um, been weighing heavy, been weighing heavy and becoming difficult to do. Show me the Knight of Cups. What is this Knight of Cups? Is it a message? Is it communication? Is it an offer? What, what type of offer? Knight of Cups. Show me Knight of Cups for Aries, please. Ghosted. All right. Ghosted. Show me Knight of Cups, please. What does Aries need to know about this Knight of Cups? What don't you know about this Knight of Cups? Hot and cold, ghosted. Taking a risk. Speak your truth. Messages from spirit. What is it regarding? Divine feminine? Hmm. All right. All right, then. I'm going to pull some more tarot. I want to clarify this. I want to get some clarity here. Sorry, you guys. I um, didn't get my pre-shuffles down. That's all right. I try to do that to save time, but um, I've seen in the messages you guys actually prefer to see me shuffle. Um, and I am okay with that. Okay. Let's clarify. What do we got? take a risk. All right. Show me, please. Hot, cold, ghosted messages from spirit. Speak your truth. Take a risk. Divine feminine. What is this Knight of Cups, please? Six of Cups. Waiting, wanting, watching. Show me Six of Cups, Knight of Cups, please. Six of Cups, Knight of Cups. King of Swords. Excuse me. So I think you're wanting an offer. I think because you feel as though you're in the King of Swords energy, you know you're bossed up, you know you're ascending, and you are vibrating high, um, shining brightly. You know this is you. And you're wanting and, and you're waiting. And you're wanting someone to come in with this offer. The burden's getting heavy. Ten of Wands, that's what that means. The burden is getting heavy of waiting. It's hot and cold. You want to speak your truth. And it feels like a risk. Um, I'm getting like, be patient here. 
or um, perhaps show the way, right? Perhaps lead the way, show the way, show them what you're looking for, what you what you want. Yes, Nine of Pentacles. Um, they don't see. They don't see um, the gold. They don't understand the value. They don't understand the danger, um, the ability to lose things, the ability of where you are. And so they're not seeing it. You have to show them, right? You are going to need to take that risk and show them. That's why uh, patience is what I'm getting or lead the way. You're in your boss energy. You're going to have to show them what that means. You're going to have to show them what that means, okay? You're going to have to get in your devil energy. Pull the strings. Make them, you, you pull the strings, they become the full, and you show them how to win. How to win you, right? That's what I'm getting. Yeah, bottom of the deck, the sun. This is regarding your love relationship, your, um, your work, your general energy. Um, you're in boss energy. You are a flaming fire right now, Aries. Hot, hot, hot. Badass energy. Um... It's time to let the people see your sunshine. Let them see you shine brightly. Um, that's what I have for you today. Thank you for being here. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the notifications button. Good luck with everything, Aries. Blessed be.